Salwabona, South Africa. Welcome to the Azania News Network, ANN. It's a pleasure to have you back today. Joining us for this news report about an exciting entrepreneur, someone who's made a real difference in South Africa's present and for the future. Welcome to the Azania News Network. But let's be clear about something, folks. This report you're about to see is exclusive footage of ANN and the Azani News Network. This exclusive footage of an event in the Eastern Cape. This is one of the entrepreneurs, those enterprising young South Africans whom President Sir Ramaphosa has lauded in his State of the Nation address of 2022 for taking welfare money meant to feed people and using it to grow a business. Let's grow together, South Africa. But let's be clear about something, folks. You hear this term Sasa banding about frequently. What is it? Well, this is a RAND 350 Sasa Social Relief of Distress Grants. And they've been available for people. And why can you get them? Well, you can get it for temporary provision of assistance intended for people in dire material need that they're unable to meet their family's most basic needs. Which, of course, begs the question, if the money is for someone in dire need, to meet their family's basic needs, how is it that they managed to cobble together $23.33 for seven months to build an ice cream business? Well, folks, I'm going to show you a success story here from a Sasa situation. This young man, currently wandering the Eastern Cape, has built a successful business exclusively, entirely from his Sasa grant. This will also dispel the rumors that only majority Black South Africans actually qualify and receive Sasa grants. See this gentleman here, Pete Relief. How's it, South Africa? Hello. Two years ago, I was suffering. But then Ramaphosa gave me a Sasa grant. I've used the Sasa grant to be an entrepreneur and build my own business here in South Africa. It's a waste collection system. You too can be a Sasa entrepreneur in South Africa courtesy of President Ramaphosa and the ANC's generosity. And Mr. Price, you see, this is how I became a South African entrepreneur with a Sasa grant. Let me show you. I walk the highways looking for money and food, and I find all of these cans just laying on the road. The roundabouts. I was standing one day in Johannesburg next to a robot, and I thought to myself, I can complain about things, or I can take that generous Sasa grant money and make something of myself and create a new economy. And so, with my trusty Mr. Price bag, I walk the streets of Hillbrow and I collect aluminum cans, reinvesting in the salvage economy of South Africa. You see, I don't steal cables from railroads. I collect cans, which we send to China. Thank you, Cyril, for making me a success story in the new ANC South Africa. And thank you, Mr. Price, for all your help. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Zana News Network, we are proud to bring you these stories of success in South Africa. Viva Azania! Viva Azania! Brilliant job here by this young man in being part of the narrative and helping President Ramaphosa prove that handing welfare out to people and making them dependent on the state can in fact lead to success stories. You can build an ice cream business, start a transport business, or start a salvage business and ship your aluminum to China. Well, that's it for today's report from the ANN, the Azani News Network. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll catch you next time. As long as ESCOM keeps the power on. Cheers. Ooh, can we take those off now? I'm not really sure. We are waiting to hear what the response is. We heard the president say that you will be able to see a complete different situation as soon as we gain control of everything. Isn't that what he's told us for 29 months?